Okay, bonjour. Uh, the grammar point we're going to look at is how to say the most and least of something. And we don't necessarily always use the words most and least. Uh, we also use the words, um, well, they're not words, we use uh, EST um, and attach it to a word to say he's the strongest, right? Um, so let's look at some examples right off the bat. If you want to say he is the strongest, in French it is il est le plus fort. D'accord? Now, Look at the words word by word, and it will make a lot of sense why we say he's the strongest this way. It's literally, he is the most strong. D'accord? You learned the word plus as more, but if you say le plus, it means most. He is the most strong. D'accord? It's very, very intuitive because we have that same pattern. We can say the most strong in English. So having that analogous pattern, when you go to do the same thing in French, you can say, oh, he is uh, the, uh, he's the strongest, he is the most strong, il est le plus fort. Easy. So let's do an example. Um, I guess we're describing Hulk there. Let's describe Shuri. If you want to say she is the smartest, you're going to do the same thing. Now what I want you to notice as we type this is that we're going to use la instead because Shuri is a female character. We're going to say elle est la. Still use plus. Plus is an adverb, so it does not change. Elle est la plus. And then we're going to use the word for smart, which is an adjective, so we must make that agree as well. Elle est la plus intelligente. D'accord? This is very, very easy. If you want to say he is the least patient, this is just a vocab switch out. Instead of saying plus, you're going to say moi. Il est le moins patient. D'accord? Likewise, if you want to say she is the least serious, we're going to say, again, paying attention to gender. Elle est la. Moi is an adverb. It does not change. And then sérieux. Sure, he's a little bit of a jokester. D'accord? So, elle est moi, la moins sérieuse. She is the least serious. Very straightforward on the left-hand side if we have just adjective phrases. Now, um, what I mean by an adjective phrase is we've got it and then is. Is is often followed by adjectives, right? Descriptive phrases. So uh, it is and then the adjective phrase to describe it on the other side. Or excuse me, he. Right, cool. Now, um, it gets a little bit more complicated when you have a full noun phrase. Rather than saying the strongest, we want to say the strongest man. Right, cool. so, so to say uh, he's the strongest man, we're going to say c'est l'homme le plus fort. Right, cool. Now look at that word for word. He is the man, the most strong, is what they say in French. Even this doesn't sound that bizarre if you think about it, because you've been probably saying to yourself, oh yeah, I have to say, uh, that's a girl, smart. Not, that's a smart girl. You just have to remember to flip it. And so if you've been thinking in your head, oh no, it's, it's, we have to say, it's the dog, yellow, then this shouldn't be that much of a surprise to you. He is the man, the most strong. D'accord? Um, so what if we want to say that's the smartest woman? Well, the the woman, we'll start with that, because we start with the noun phrase, right? Um, and then the descriptive phrase comes second. So donc, c'est la femme, and then la plus intelligente. We just add that adjective phrase to the end. Very, very straightforward, okay? because it's nothing new. Adjectives comes uh, adjectives come after nouns. So if you want to say he's the least patient man, again, we're just switching out vocab at this point. L'homme, or c'est l'homme le moins patient, the least patient. It is the man the least patient. Now, if you want to say she's the least serious girl, you want to say she's the girl. I've been using femme. Um, instead of fille, fille means girl. I mean, for women, but that's fine. So we'll say c'est la femme. Um, the least serious. She is the woman, the least serious. C'est la femme, la moins sérieuse. C'est bon? Okay. Now, uh, the only way that it's going to get a little bit more complicated um, is there exists what we call pre-nominal adjectives. So up here, I labeled these, and I don't know if you noticed, post-nominal adjectives. That means after noun. Almost all adjectives in French come after the noun. They're almost always post-nominal. We also call them post-positive. 
Um, there are a few, and just a few, you may have noticed in different worksheets here or there, that there's an adjective coming before the noun. Um, that is a thing, and there are a few that always come before the noun. So normally in the junior high you learn those. Unfortunately, you did not this year because of COVID. So um, that puts us, you know, in the situation where we have to learn them now. So you've got au petit grand gros, premier joli beau, autre long, mauvais bon, jeune vieux nouveau. Those adjectives always come before the noun. You'll almost never see them after the noun. D'accord? So, um, O means high, petit, grand, gros, premier joli beau, you should know. Autre means other, long, mauvais, bon, jeune vie, nouveau, you should know as well. D'accord? All right, so let's look at an example. If you want to say that she's the cutest woman, the wor word for cute is joli. D'accord? Or that can also be pretty. D'accord? So if we want to say she's the prettiest woman, um, we're going to say, c'est la plus jolie femme. Now, something you're going to notice here is we only have one la this time. D'accord? So there's only one la if you use one of these adjectives. And we just say the most uh, pretty woman. The most pretty woman. D'accord? La plus jolie femme. So it's different because... You don't need to repeat the article like we did above with la femme la moins sérieuse. So there's one fewer word than up above. D'accord? Likewise, if we want to say he's the least small man, we're going to say c'est le moins petit homme. D'accord? So it's just remembering, all right, I've got article, adjective, sorry, article, adverb, adjective, noun in this one. All right, now... Bon and mauvais, they do come first. They do come first. They're in the little rhyme here. Bon and mauvais, meaning good and bad. However, we don't say goodest and baddest, and neither do they in French. They've got special words for that. So instead of saying plus bon, there exists the word oops, meilleur. And it is up above to remind you as well. And instead of saying plus mauvais, which doesn't exist, they say pire, P-I-R-E. D'accord? So if you want to say he is the best, il est le meilleur, oh, il est le meilleur. And if you want to say he is the worst, oh, il est le pire. D'accord? So try, try those, say those. Il est le meilleur. And make sure you pronounce meilleur correctly. Notice I do not say an L sound, it's a Y sound. Il est le meilleur. D'accord? And il est le pire. Practice your R. Now, let's say you want to say, that's my best friend. D'accord? All right, we're going to use mon instead of the article le. I'm going to describe my best friend. It's a guy. D'accord? So, I would say, il est mon meilleur ami. D'accord? Il est mon meilleur ami. However, if you'd like to write um, my best friend as a female, you can write, elle est ma meilleure amie. D'accord? Those things will still all agree. Now, what if you want to say, that is the worst enemy? Say, all right, so we're just using a little this time. Um, and then we'll use the word pire. Notice that it goes pre-nominal, meaning before the noun. C'est le pire ennemi. Very easy. So um, going down below, first we're going to practice adjective phrases. This is the section that's a little bit easier. We've got a word like faible, which means weak. And you want to say, um, my friend is the least weak in science. D'accord? This is easy because if it's the adjective phrase, we just need to say the least weak, right? The weakest. Oh, no, no. He's the least weak. He's the, so he's um, actually quite good. <laughs> or, uh, or he could be. He might be weak, but just the least of the, the weak ones. Anyways, um, we're going to say he's the least weak. Il est le moins faible. That's where it gets so so tricky because I was you noticed I was tempted for a second to say he's the weakest and I was like wait no 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 it's not he's the most weak he's the least weak so you do have to pay attention to that whether which words you're using. C'est bon. All right. The only one that might throw you for a loop here is number two, d'accord? Because you do not use the word uh, bon, right? Plus bon does not exist. So remember, go back to your notes and remind yourself what do you say instead. All right, pay attention to most and ist. 
versus least. All right, let's do um, one down here. So um, this is where it's a little bit harder. If we want to say she's the cutest girl, I shouldn't have um, had that as an example on the front then. So notice that I marked that it's pre. Is that cool? So it's going to go before the noun phrase. That means we're going to have four words instead of five. So I have to use the word la fille and Julie. D'accord? So if I'm saying she's the cutest, we're going to use plus. And then we can add the word jolie. Notice that I put la already to make it feminine. I have to make this feminine too. La plus jolie fille is the most cute girl. D'accord? We're going to do another one together. Um, these are the most unfair rules. We've got the word for unfair there, and we want to say it's the most unfair. So let's see. We're going to start with the uh, plural lay. Is this a prenominal adjective? No. So the adjective and the plus will not come next. Those will come at the end. So we can actually just say these are the rules and then say the most unfair. Les plus injustes. Ce sont les règles les plus injustes. All right, you can check your answers online. That is basically uh, it. Again, it's easy, but it is paying attention to detail. You really, really have to pay attention to word order because if you get the word order wrong, I know you're not paying attention to it. Um, so in every single one that you do, make sure you pay attention to the word order. That's my advice. Bon.